My name is David Ajay. I'm an architect and the principal of Ajay Associates. We've recently completed the National Museum of African American History and Culture on the Mall, which is an important project for us. I'm a sort of music lover. I was a young DJ when I was a young teenager, and I've always been frustrated with the speaker systems that are out there for Bluetooth sort of systems. I think a speaker needs to feel like it has gravity because it's really about pushing a lot of sound out. Concrete just seemed a great way to make this rock. It really created the acoustic stability that the Kevlar speakers required to be able to push the sound out and not create reverberation back into the structure. So you can actually really turn it up and the speakers can do their job and they're not having to fight the environment that they've been placed in. And that was gold. Working with Marcel Dynamic is just, it was too seamless. I wanted the grill to really have an invisible fixing. I just wanted it to just attach. And I didn't want to have in the concrete any fixings that would take away from the purity of the form. Because really the idea is that when you look at the speaker without the grill, it's just a mass of concrete and these speakers and then the buttons and, and that's it. There were many iterations to finally get the casting right so that that magnetic detail is completely invisible and you don't understand how it sticks on. But you put that grill on and it just Fits. And that level of perfection is the thing that I love about Master of Dynamic. It's like a relentless pursuit of the perfection of the object. You're looking at the back of the form where you, the geometry is revealed, where you see the materiality of the form. It's reduced right down to these triangles. These areas are sculpted. These are flat right down so that the mass of the material kind of gives you the impression and allows you to enjoy the sensuality of the form. The idea of curving it, which is slightly perverse, but actually gives it this wonderful sort of perspective in that moment. And in a way, for me, the form seemed to kind of encapsulate that. And then I was just like, this is it. <laughs> to see this thing that had been in my mind and been in discussions suddenly sort of sitting there as a product, I immediately just turned it up <laughs> as soon as I got it. And I just kept turning it up until actually I was uncomfortable, but it was working really well. It was so loud. I couldn't put it up anymore in my, my apartment without my neighbors probably kind of going crazy. And I think that's the best when a designer actually, actually covets the object. So, and you feel that it doesn't exist in the world and you want to then make it because you want to make it so that it satisfies you. And you hope that if it satisfies you, then hopefully it satisfies somebody else out there. Ha, ha, ha.